What's up guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, we're going to learn how to utilize uh, some of these ChatGPT prompt generator tools, right? So we're going to learn how to uh, automate uh, ChatGPT prompt creations. So in this case, we're not going to write the ChatGPT prompt manually. Instead, we're going to utilize this prompt generator, right? So uh, let's go to the first one here, FusionAI.world. So just click on it, it will take you here. As you guys can see, I'm now on Fusion AI. So yeah, just type what you want so let's say i want to generate a marketing campaign for uh, my product right so i'm just gonna type in the basic prompt and then once i click generate fusion ai is going to generate me uh like more complex prompt all right so marketing campaign for my products or maybe just marketing campaign right i'm just gonna make it as basic as possible and then click on um generate from or maybe i'm gonna change this to add copy all right i'm just gonna click on generate and now uh, vision ai is going to generate me the prompt write a 500 word ad copy essay explaining the benefit of product including like features including the features focus on advantages and provide examples all right so i'm gonna copy and paste this to chat GPT, right? But before um, before generating this prompt, I'm gonna uh, make some changes. I think 500 word is too long. So I'm just gonna replace this with, I guess 250 or maybe just 200, right? And I want to be a little bit more specific. I want the product to be related to sneaker Right, so write a 200 word ad copy essay explaining the benefits of sneakers product including the features focus on the advantages and provide examples right so we'll see what ChatGPT is capable of all right so as you guys can see introducing to the ultimate sneaker pro revolutions footwear that will change the way you walk run and conquer the world engineered with precision spec by Wow, okay, cool. Uh, very cool ad copy, I like it. Uh, I might not use like the whole thing here. I might just use like the first three paragraphs or first four paragraphs, I think it's, it's too long. But yeah, that's uh, amazing. All right, so why don't we try one more thing here. Um, let's go back to our Fusion AI and I'm gonna change this. Um, this time I want Fusion AI to generate me um, prompt for uh, my content, right? So fictional, history story all right so i'm just gonna click generate and we'll see um what we're going to get here write a 500 word fictional history story exploring the culture and beliefs of a specific ancient civilizations including their impact on the world focus on the development of the civilizations and provide vivid descriptions wow that's pretty cool all right so i'm just gonna copy and paste that from all right i'm gonna Put it here and obviously 500 words is too long i'm just gonna um replace that with 150 words all right and that's it just gonna hit enter and see what chat gpt is capable of we'll see all right in the heart of dense jungle nestled between towering mountains the ancient civilizations of Zepria tribe known for their ad advanced knowledge of agriculture astronomy and architecture all right a pretty creative pretty um cool fictional story here generated by chat gpt i like it so much yeah so i think you should utilize vision ai guys pretty powerful tool that you can uh, utilize to generate more complex problem from uh basic problem like this right so yeah um that's just one of many prompt generators that you can uh, utilize Alright, so I think that's it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video. We're going to learn other ChatGPT prompt generators that we can uh, utilize to help us, you know, generating better output. Alright, so I'll see you guys there. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the course. In this video, we're going to learn how to utilize the second tool, which is FlowGPT. If you don't know how to get here, just go back to the slides and then click on this link, flowgpt.com, and it will take you here. Alright, so as you guys can see, we are on flow gpt so welcome to flow gpt 
Um, this is a pretty cool uh, website, it's pretty cool technology that you can utilize to help you generating high quality prompt. And the way it works might be a little bit different compared to the previous tools that we learned, um, which was Vision AI. So in Vision AI, all you need to do is to type in the basic prompt and click generate prompt and then Vision AI is going to generate you like more complex prompt, right? But in Flow GPT is a little bit different guys. All you need to do is just to type in um, the topics of your prompt. For example, you want to do marketing, just type in marketing like this and then click search. And they have like many different models. They have many different options that you can select. So depending on your need, depending on what you want, um, they have, let's say, social media, marketing campaign search, they have create Facebook marketing. Um, I think this is for Facebook ads. If you're planning to create Facebook ads, then click on this content marketing booster, um, cold email, GPT, marketing IDs, right? Product marketing proposals, marketing slogan generator. So yeah, you can select um, some of these models. So let's say I want to um select this marketing ideas because i want to get marketing ideas for my business just click on it as you guys can see here um this is actually the prompt and you can feel free to customize um these based on your need you can change uh, the company's or product's name to your um own company's name and you can also change the product descriptions all right so feel free to customize this port and this is the prompt and then to run it, just click send. All right. And cool. As you guys can see, um, flow GPT has been fully integrated with chat GPT. So you don't need to copy and paste the prompt here and then run the prompt on chat GPT. Instead, just click send and then it will run the prompt for you here on flow GPT. Right. So you don't need to copy and paste the prompt. All right, cool. So now the output has been generated as you guys can see, um, they have like seven different uh, ideas for the marketing. I'm just going to scroll up really quick. I don't know why it is so hard to scroll that up. All right. So the first one is content marketing through blogs and social media. The second one is webinars and virtual products demos. The third one is partnership with green energy advocates. All right. So yeah, as you guys can see, this uh, prompt is able to generate you the seven marketing ideas. So yeah, pretty cool, right? So let's try another example. Let's say you want to uh, use this marketing slogan prompt, right? So as you guys can see, uh, this is the prompt. Generate a series of marketing slogans that convey the unique selling points of your products or service. And again, kind of the same thing. You can feel free to customize this, right? You can re replace this with your product's name, your service name, and also change the detail and then click send. And, and guess what? Uh, ChatGPT is going to generate you um, the output here, right? Number one, refreshment with benefit, get more than just a hydration. So all these, um, all these slogans are generate, have been generated, all right? So if you want to scroll that up, Uh, this was the prompt that was used to generate this output, right? So yeah, um, that's how you do it, guys. If you're not really satisfied with the output that you got, you might want to regenerate it. Just click on regenerate, right? So yeah, let's try a different topic. So we've already tried marketing. Why don't we try another topic? For example, you want to do um, content creation. I'm just gonna type in content here, right? Content search. All right, so I'm thinking like which one is uh, the best one to try here, right? Or maybe I'm just gonna type in like content creations here or content ideas. All right, so I'm just gonna click content ideas. All right, cool. So we got this one, content ideas um, and optimization. As you guys can see, uh, they have like a pretty long prompt, uh, prompt here, pretty long prompt. Uh, you will receive a range of innovative TikTok video ideas, best practices for content creations and data driven strategies for optimizing your TikTok. Okay, so uh, this prompt is specifically for uh, TikTok, 
All right, so if you own your TikTok account and you, you might be stuck, like you were thinking what ideas for your next content, then you should use this prompt, all right? Then click send. So as you guys can see now, it is running the prompt and ChatGPT is going to generate you uh, multiple different output, multiple different ideas for your content for your TikTok. All right, so educational content, trendy challenge video, behind the scenes, humorous skits, dance videos, keep it sure and sweet. Okay, so they also share you know, like several different tips and tricks. All right, pretty cool. Just popular music, some of your posts, use analytics, collaborate with other creators. All right, pretty cool. Um, this is definitely a very comprehensive output where you get not only that you get the ideas for your content, but you also get a few tips and tricks on how to uh, maximize your audience engagements on your TikTok. So pretty cool, right? All right, so uh, we've tried content creations. We have tried a marketing. Why don't we try uh, one more thing? Then we'll be done with this um, tool. So now let's try a uh, business, right? So I'm just gonna type in like business ideas and we'll see if there are prompts about business that we should try. So I'm just gonna click search. All right, so you have AI agencies, startup consultant, you have, um, what else? Disrupt AI under uncovering industries. I don't think we have uh, many options for this. I'm just gonna uh, change to another topic. So why don't we try uh, software development, right? So if you're a software engineer, you might want to um, utilize, you know, some of these prompts. So let's go to, maybe I'm thinking about this one, Chrome extension. All right, so as you guys can see, uh, this is the prompt. Takes an idea for a Chrome extensions and brings it to life. Features expands on the user's idea, adding any necessary features, automatically code the extensions, debug code, update code, and file structure. All right, so guess what? This time we're going to be utilizing ChatGPT to generate us code for Chrome extension. So this is the prompt. And all we need to do is to click send and now ChatGPT is going to run the prompt and ChatGPT is going to generate us um, the output, all right? So I'm curious what's the output going to be to be like. I'm um, pretty sure it's going to be like a code or, you know, anything related to our Chrome extensions. But again, due to complexity of this request, it might take a while, all right? That's the reason why it takes a little bit longer to load, you know? So uh, yeah, guys, just be patient. Uh, based on my personal experience, every single time you use uh, ChatGPT to generate your code, uh, it will take a little bit longer than usual, right? All right, cool. So Chrome extension AI, hello. Before we start, please remember to vote um, for this submission for the S2 Flow GPT contest. Now, please provide me with your Chrome extension ideas. All right, so now uh, we need to... Uh, provide them the ideas so i'm thinking about i'm thinking about um like screenshot uh chrome extension so you're able to do like screenshot but for the whole pages right so i'm just gonna type that in chrome extensions for screenshot screenshotting the whole pages the whole page Right, so I'm just gonna hit enter. All right, cool. So now it is loading. All right, so we'll see. Chrome extensions, AI, great idea. Let's expand on that. Do you have any specific features in mind that you would like to be included in the extensions? No. Um, just go with your suggestion. Right, so that's going to be my reply, right? Okay, cool. So now um, the chat GPT is generating us a 
more uh, details about the features Chrome extensions AI all right here is a list of features that could be included in the extensions um, options to capture the entire web page options to save the screenshot options to annotate the screenshots with text lines arrows and shapes options to share the screenshot via emails social media or cloud storage options to schedule periodic screenshots of a web page why do you think of these features is there anything you you'd like to add or remove well i think i'm pretty satisfied with those so i'm just gonna reply like this sounds good all right so now chat gpt is going to generate us a more detailed more detailed descriptions about our chrome extension so yeah guys that's how you guys use it all right i think uh, that's it there are like many different um topics that you can choose if you go to collections just click on collections here as you guys can see there are like many different uh, options that you guys can choose social media lincoln uh what else uh jpay i'm not really familiar with this to be honest with you but there are like many different topics that you can choose um academics engineering marketing uh store up right many different um topics all right so i think that's it guys i'll see you in the next video we're going to learn how to uh, utilize another tool another prompt generator so i'll see you guys there what's up guys welcome back to the course in this video we're going to learn how to uh, utilize another prompt generator tool which is cookup.ai so if you don't know how to get here just go back to the slides and then click on cookup.ai and it will take you here all right so as you guys can see we are now on cookup.ai so welcome to cookup.ai um this tool is extremely similar to the previous tool that we learned which was uh, flowgpt.com where you have many different options to select so for example you want to run ads just click on ads and then click on this arrow just click on it as you guys can see you have uh, many different um options you have free instagram ads copy generator you have free google ads headline generator free tiktok ads keyword generator free tiktok ads headline generator so yeah you have many different options to choose so let's say i want to run ads on tiktok right and i want to you know get um headlines for my tiktok ads so just gonna click on try now as you guys can see here i will need to enter my product name so let's say i'm selling pillow so i'm just gonna enter a uh, pillow or maybe i need to be a little bit more specific uh so i'm just gonna name it as soft pillow like this all right so this is going to be my product name and as you guys can see this is actually the prompt that will be used create eye-catching headlines for tiktok ads and the last thing that i need to do here is just to click this button generate results all right so now i'm generating the result all right so just wait and see what we're going to get okay cool so um i have like five different headlines snooze in style with snuggle cloth dream nights with dream night starts with softy pillow the corny fest slip with fluff cloth all right so uh pretty cool so these are the outputs that you got let's say we want to try uh, another thing so let's go back to the apps all right or just go back to home and let's say we want to try um something else right we already tried um the problem for ads for running ads you have like many different options here guys so just just explore um let's say this time we want to try um predictions i'm thinking about like market or yeah maybe cryptocurrency market or stock market i don't know yet so just click predictions and click on predictions click on the arrow oh actually it has nothing to do with um market predictions so you have like new year resolutions generator right uh, next text using ai generate rap song for twitter profile um to be honest with you i don't think this is very interesting to try so let's try something else let's say we go with 
um, blogging, right? So I'm interested in blogging. So click on blogging. You have several different options here. Free blog, post topic, ideas generator, free blog title generator. So why don't we try the first one? Free blog post uh, topic ideas generator, right? All right, so we need to um, describe the topic. So let's say you want it to be uh, fictional history, right? Fictional history, something like this. And just click on generate, all right? And before clicking on generate result, you might want to see this frequently asked questions. All right, and just click generate and see what we're going to get here. Histo fictive, uh, ficto history. Okay, pretty cool. Um, narrativized past, imaginary timelines, fantastical chronicles. Yeah, so that's how you use uh, this tool, guys. That's how you uh, utilize cookup.ai. Let's say we want to try uh, one more thing before um, ending this video. So just click on email and just click on this arrow. All right, so as you guys can see, uh, you have like many different prompts for email. Let's say we want to uh, create fundraising email. Um, so just click on this. And this is actually the prompt that will be used, create effective uh, fundraising emails quickly and easily, right? So we also need to uh, describe the email tone. Uh, maybe uh, the fundraising is going to be for our uh, charity project. So I'm just gonna type in charity project. And I'm gonna click generate results. And now ChatGPT is going to generate us um, the fundraising email uh, template, I guess. So we'll see what we're going to get here, right? I don't know what to expect here, right? So I think this is pretty short prompt, right? All right, so it is still generating. I don't know why it takes so long. Um, usually it doesn't take this long. All right, cool. Now, as you guys can see, uh, we have this uh, email template. So you can feel free to customize this um, email their donor's name to so just replace this with your actual donor's name and you might want to uh, add some minor modifications to this um, email body and also change this with your own name and change this with your own organizations or maybe company whatever yeah so that's how you utilize this tool guys i think that's it that's all you need to know i'll see you guys in the next video we're going to learn another tool another prompt generator all right, I'll see you guys there. What's up guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, we're going to learn another prompt generator called Hall Analysis. So if you don't know how to get there, just click on this link, hallanalysis.com slash chatgpt prompts generator, and it will take you here. So welcome to Hall Analysis. So this tool might be a little bit different compared to the previous one. So this tool concentrates mainly on uh, three things here write something code something and learn something so let's say you want to write articles you can select this you or a software engineer you want to code a project click on code something or you maybe you are a student you want to learn just click learn something all right so let's try uh, this out so let's say we want to write an article right or maybe you want to write a marketing copy or product descriptions or maybe email right I don't know which one to choose. Maybe we're going to try product descriptions, right? So it's just like this. And the main topic, uh, we want ChatGPT to describe uh, our product and our product is uh, maybe sneakers, right? So I'm just gonna type in athletic wear, athletic sneakers, or maybe not, maybe casual, casual sneakers like this, right? And subtopics. I'm just gonna type like very basic thing here, a uh, sneaker that is very comfortable to use. Right, that's it. And for this section, use those writing styles, narrative, descriptive, persuasive, expository, creative. I want it to be descriptive, right? Because the product description should be descriptive, describing about the pro the product. Right in this tone, um, formal, informal, optimistic, worried, friendly, 
uh, curious, assertive, encouraging, surprised, and cooperative. Actually, I want it to be um, a little bit informal because, you know, the product is casual sneaker. So I want it to be casual. Uh, include this keyword. So maybe I want to include um, convertible uh, sneakers. That's it. Exclude this keyword. So this is like negative prompt. If you want um, things to be excluded from your prompt, then add it here. But I don't think so. I'm not going to add anything to this uh, sections. Re reading grade level. Um, actually, you can choose a uh, really great level. Like the higher uh, you go, the more complex vocabularies will be used. So I want my product descriptions to be able to be understood by, you know, a lot of people. So I'm just going to go with um, grade six, right? So they're not going to use very complex vocabularies or very uh, complex uh, idiom required word count. So I don't want I don't want it to be very long. So I'm just going to stick with, let's say, 150 words. That's it. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just going to stick with a um, 100 words, right? I don't want it to be very long. All right, cool. So if you scroll back up, as you guys can see, um, this is our prompt, right? You can copy this and then you can paste this on ChatGPT and you can run it. All right, cool. So introducing our awesome casual sneaker, the epitome of cozy comfort your, for your fit. This kicks or must have for all sneaker slow rollers out there. Slip your fit into pure bliss as you enjoy the cushion heaven provided by these ultra comfy shoes. All right, pretty cool, right? So yeah, um, that's how you utilize hull analysis. Let's say you want to try something else. So click on some code something. And this time we're going to choose uh, Python, I guess, or maybe C++, I don't know yet. I'm going to go with Python. What should the code do, All right? So we're going to give the instructions. Uh, what is the code going to do, right? So actually, uh, I just want to create a basic mathematics game, all right? Basic mathematics game. That's it. Include comments. So if you want your code to have, you know, additional documentations explaining what its line of code does, then you might want to check this. But I don't think I'm going to check this. I'm just going to uh, uncheck this, right? So that's it. As you guys can see, uh, this is the prompt that we're going to use. Um, write some codes that uses Python to do the following tasks. Basic mathematics games include code comments that explain the code. All right. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. All right, cool. So now ChatGPT is going to generate us the code. Look at this. Amazing, right? Import random. Um, they have generate question, so that's the first functions. Yeah, pretty basic uh, subtractions, additions, multiplications, and division game, I guess. Very simple mathematics game. Oh, actually, they also add like some documentations explaining what its uh, functions does. So yeah, that's, that's pretty cool, guys. That's how you uh, utilize whole analysis to uh, create a prompt for you. So I think that's it. That's all you need to know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. What's up guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, we're going to learn how to utilize another prompt generator tool called Prompt Vibes. If you don't know how to get here, just go back to the slides and then click on this um, link and it will take you here to Prompt Vibes. And you can enter your email and then click subscribe if you want to get like the latest news from this platform. And as you guys can see, there are like many different uh, topics. There are many different categories that you can choose. You have chat GPT, jailbreaks, coding prompts, design, Play game, productivity, role play, writing prompts, marketing prompts, uh, what else? New prompt. You have uh, funny prompts. So let's say uh, we're a business owner, right? And 30% or 40% of our energy will be allocated to marketing, right? So let's try marketing prompts. Okay, cool. So um, as you guys can see, there are many different options that we can choose. We have product market fit. We have multi-dimensional social media content generator prompt, uh, customer research, uh, ultimate chat GPT marketer. What else? 
for people who write emails, advertisers, YouTube content scripters, uh, social media copywriting. Um, what else? You have like many different options here. Influencer, Facebook ads manager. All right, so let's say we want to run our Facebook ads. Why don't we why don't we try this one though? Um, just click on it. Influencer Facebook ads manager. And as you guys can see, uh, this is the prompt. I need a Facebook ad copy that will engage my ideal customer persona with specific type of content from influencer type who can authentically share the benefits of my product, service, and encourage them to make a purchase. Right? So yeah, um, you actually can customize this prompt. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna close that. So we're just going to copy and paste this to ChatGPT and we're going to customize this based on our case, right? So I need the Facebook ad copy that will engage my ideal customer personal. So this will be your main targeted customer. So I'm just gonna type in teens, teenagers, right? With specific type of content, um, maybe prank, because I think younger generations like, you know, watching prank videos from influencer type, um, maybe, um, you know, YouTuber who specialize in pranking people. So prank specialist, I think that would be great. Who can authentically share the benefits of my product or service. Uh, in this case, my product is going to be what I'm thinking about um, t-shirt, right? So I'm just gonna type in t-shirt and encourage them to make a purchase. So I'm just gonna hit run and see what ChatGPT is going to generate us. Analyze your prankster sites with our epic t-shirt. I know uh, prank and t-shirt is not very related, but this is just for an example, right? I'm just uh, showing you how to customize this prompt for your own uh, product, for your own uh, need. Uh, hey teens, are you ready to Take your pranks to a whole new level, introducing our jaw-droppingly awesome pranks specialist t-shirt designed by prankster for pranksters. Our t-shirt is not just an any ordinary piece of clothing, it is a secret weapon that will level up your pranking game. Alright, so that's a uh, pretty cool um, ad copy for your Facebook ads campaign. Um, I think I'm pretty satisfied with this, uh, definitely a pretty cool emojis here. You have uh, cool t-shirt emojis, um, what else? this um loving face i guess yeah you have a pretty cool uh, ad copy here right so yeah i think that's it that's all you need to know about uh prom vibes uh obviously you should spend some time here uh, exploring many different um categories on prom vibes right so i'm just showing you how to uh, utilize this to generate your prom for facebook ads specifically but again there are many different options that you should explore right so i think that's it i'll see you guys in the next video Thank <laughs> you.